So from that time I knew that there was a problem of identity in the Sudan here. In South Africa, we had a problem of identity. Because the whites said Africans cannot vote because they don't know how to vote properly. Um, the African identity crisis. Like, why? Like, seriously, why? Why do we still have to face this at this particular moment in time? I honestly don't think that Africans need to identify as white or Arabs or whatsoever. We as Africans, we are African. Um, I honestly cannot agree any less with President Museveni of Uganda. And I'll just urge you to actually listen to, to this speech all the way to the end. And um, actually consider giving this video a like because I know you're going to like it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for uh, more of such videos. In the last 500 years, Africa has had the problem of the slave trade, has had the problem of colonialism, has had, has had the problem of neo-colonialism, of marginalization, of underdevelopment, of dictatorships, of civil wars, of failed states, of starv starvation and death, of refugees, all these have been happening in the last 500 years to the Africans. By 1900, the whole of Africa had been colonized, except for Ethiopia. Yeah. So we must ask ourselves, what is the problem in Africa? Why could people who are the original stock of the human beings be in all these problems? In the last 50 years, almost, 50, almost 60 now, I've been active on the African scene. I've been watching. There are essentially three problems which I have seen. Problem number one, misuse of identity. Misuse of identity. I am a Catholic. In Uganda, we had that problem. Why? When we got independence, our leaders got it wrong. Even before independence, they had started. Because they didn't have what to tell the people to go to a hospital when you, when you are not a doctor. And then, and then patients come. You are not able to understand the disease. So you say you have been bewitched. You tell the patient, the, the person who is suffering, you say you have been bewitched because you don't know what the problem is. So our leaders, in the case of Uganda, they said, we are Catholics. So the Catholics formed a Catholic party called DP, Democratic Party, but Democratic for the Catholics. The other group, the protestants, formed a party called UPC, Uganda People's Congress. One of the tribes, the Baganda, formed a party called Kabaka Yeka. Kabaka is the, the, the chief king of Buganda. 
So, Uganda was paralyzed. Not only paralyzed, but endangered by this misuse of identity. We are Catholics, we are Protestants, we are Baganda, we are Chodi, we are this. This I have not seen only in, in Uganda. Sudan here, your Sudan, was broke up by this problem. Because your, your people in the north, they said they were Arabs. When you look at them, you try to see how, how Arab they are, you don't see it. You see a black man saying he's an Arab. But, but, but I don't see your Arabism. No, I am an Arab. Okay, that's your problem. I remember we tried to negotiate, to mediate between John Garang and uh, Ar Ar Haj. I was involved in that. Why do you insist on your identity at the expense of other people? Why don't you make the whole of the Sudan neutral as far as identity is concerned? I remember one time I gave them the example of uh, a student dormitory. When you are staying in a dormitory, in some schools you have some cubicles. Cubicles are small rooms where students two or three stay. But then they have a common room, a common room where they gather. There are things they can do in, the, in their cubicle but which they should not do in the common room here. The common room should be for the radio, for the TV. These days, at that time, there was no TV. It was many radios. For the newspapers. Then your own things, brushing your teeth and all that, you do it in your, in your cubicle. But you come here in the common room, you start brushing your teeth, we are not interested in, in, in brushing your teeth. It's not our, our, our common interest. But the issue of identity eventually broke up the Sudan. In fact, in one of the meetings, we, the IGAD, put it, we put it to Field Marshal Bashir we called it DOP, Declaration of Principles. We say either you choose a Sudan which is secular, which does not talk about your religion and your tribe, talks about to all Sudanese, or you allow the Southerners to go away. It was called self-determination. And Bashir chose the latter said, let them go. I cannot compromise on my identity. So this misuse of identity is very big poison. But the second problem, yes, in some cases, identity can be important like in the case of, of, of the Sudan. Because in 1961, when I went to the secondary school, I met youth from South Sudan who were in Uganda as refugees. And I asked them, why are you running away? They said the, 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 the Arabs are killing us. What they don't allow us to speak our language. What they don't allow us to practice Africa? our culture. I was mobilized. I was so angry. Who can stop me from speaking my language? 
Who? Who can do it? You are looking for trouble to stop me to speak my language? Obviously. Who are you? Are you God? So from that time I knew that there was a problem of identity in the Sudan here. And it had to be solved. It could have been, could have been solved, but they, they didn't solve it. In South Africa, we had a problem of identity. Because the whites said Africans cannot vote because they don't know how to vote properly. If we give them a vote, they will misuse it. So we better stop, they should not be allowed to vote. And for, for, for almost a century, we're on that issue. At one time, they were even saying that uh, Africans cannot go to certain bars, certain toilets. So I asked the, the, the blacks, why do you fight for the toilets for, for, for the whites? If they want to have their own toilets, why do you... What privilege is it to sit on the same toilet with a white man? How does it improve my, 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 my status, my welfare? Therefore, in the case of South Sudan, in the case of Sudan here, in the case of South Africa, the issue of, in the case of the United States, you remember our African people there, the black people, we are being discriminated in the United States. They couldn't ride in, 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 in certain buses. So in some cases, the problem of identity becomes serious and it needs to be addressed. 